Hi, I'm Mike Eldred from the Fender Custom Shop, and I'm here at Wildwood Guitars, and um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this really cool project that um, that we did with David Gilmore. And um, while we're here at Wildwood, uh, we looked through some of their um, guitars that they have here, and they probably have the best selection of Gilmore strats that I've ever seen. And um, just wanted to talk a little bit about these and and tell everybody this kind of the story of how this whole guitar worked out with us and David Gilmore. Um, David was using, uh, has been using Fender gear for a long, long time. And even when I worked at Charvel um, years ago, I used to make uh, guitar replacement guitars, guitar necks and, and bass necks for, for Gilmore. And um, that's how I met Phil Taylor. And the relationship with Phil Taylor and myself um, you know, carried on and, and, and on. And when I came to work at, at Fender, Phil and I came back together to work on this project. And it's something that, that Phil and I had talked about uh, along with Richard McDonald from uh, Fender and just kind of went back and forth about, man, you know, we should do that guitar at some point. And, um, you know, David wanted to do it. Um, you know, Phil wanted to do it. We had lots of customers asking about this guitar for for many many years, and and uh, finally David said, "Okay, let's let's go ahead and see what we can do." And and uh, so uh, Todd Krause and myself flew out to London, and we went to um, a couple of different places. We went to the to the uh, uh, the boat Astoria where they record a, all the Pink Floyd stuff at, and talked to Phil there, and kind of went through some of David's gear and and things, and and then we went to um, their warehouse. And in their warehouse, it was really interesting because um, they had the original black Strat there. Um, he had the red Strat there, and he had a bunch of other of his other guitars too. And and you know, Phil was showing us the guitars, and and one of the things that Phil said, he goes, "Hey, I want to show you something." And he started pulling guitars out of his closet, and and he got through I don't know how many guitars, but finally he said, "Oh, here it is." And he showed me um, a P bass that I had made for David when I was at Charvel, and he also showed me a a, a Telecaster that I had made for David when I was at Charvel and it was just neat to see that they had hung on to that stuff for so long and the reason why I tell that part of the story is is that this guitar David had owned this guitar has owned this guitar for many many years um, it was a I believe a 66 or a 67 Stratocaster that he bought at Manny's and um, it had a bigger peg headstock on it when he first got it that neck went off pretty quickly, and then um, actually the neck that was on it for a long time was a neck that I made at Charvel, and um, and then later on he changed that neck to this neck, which was it's a uh, like a 1980s uh, Stratocaster reissue neck that he really likes a lot. So we had the original there. We took it all apart. Um, Todd inspected all the wiring and and uh, measured everything. Um, we looked at the guitar and we saw that the guitar is. Uh, of, it has a sunburst finish underneath the black and you know so we wanted to replicate that the guitar had also been routed for a Kaler tremolo system and we didn't route it for a Kaler tremolo system but we but we filled it we make it look like it's been filled in for that so it's it's real accurate this is exactly like David's guitar and then there's this l real little switch here that I'll let you hear in a minute that kind of turns it turns this front pickup or this middle pickup on and off which gives you a bunch of really unique sounds for a Stratocaster. The next shape is, is um, like I said, it's off of a, like a 1980, probably 83 or 84 um, uh, reissue Strat. And um, it's got a nice little C shape on it, um, but it's just a really great playing guitar. And um, the, this shape, like I said, is exactly like David's. Um, and then the single layer black plastic pick guard, which is really, this is something that we had to really hunt for because we found some material and it wasn't, it wasn't black enough. And um, we actually found this material made by a company and it was so much darker and, and harder. Um, so we set aside this black material just for the Gilmores. We don't use it for anything else. And, um, and then the pickup systems, going through the pickups and stuff. You know, David is very much in love with this original guitar. And so what we had to do, the challenge for us was to take him and make something that he liked as much or more. So that's how the whole thing kind of started. When, once we got back with all the plans and everything, 
we sat down and um, we started making protos. Um, Todd Krause made all the protos and and um, he would send those off to uh, Phil and Phil would sit down with David and, and go through everything and and we would try different pickups. Well, he likes the back pickup, but he doesn't like the middle pickup and, you know, can we try this? And so we would change the middle pickup out and then, you know, we'd send another sample out and he said, well, he really likes the back pickup and then the second sample better. Can we chase that, that pickup and put it in the first sample? And it was a lot of that stuff. And, um, but it ended up working out really, really great to what we have here. And in fact, it worked out so great that um, we sent out a proto uh, to David and um, he, he plugged in the guitar and he played the guitar for a little bit. He picked up the black one, he played the guitar for a little bit and he told Phil that he was gonna use you know, that guitar that night live. And there was a, there was a picture, I remember there was a picture on the internet and somebody sent it to me. And it was a great picture of, of David Gilmore turned around playing the Black Strat and I could see the Fender Custom Shop logo and I, I realized right then that he was playing the guitar we made, which was cool. But then the other thing that we found out is that he really liked the front pickup so much in the the reproductions that we were doing that he took one of the front pickups out of one of the reproductions and put it in the front pickup position of the original Black Strat. He liked it even better. So that made us feel really, really, really good. <laughs> 